Hello everyone. Today we will discuss designing of NFA using Thomson's construction mode. Major three operations which can be performed on regular expressions are star operation, concatenation and or operation. For each operation, we have defined rules to build a NFA with epsilon moves. Now just see how star operation is performed. Say for example, I have a NFA for A star which is given here. What does A star actually means? That means A ranging from 0 up to infinity. 0 means epsilon, single A, double A, 3A, 4A and so on. If I go in for Thomson's construction for A star, I will have 4 epsilon moves. Just see this. First epsilon move is from Q0 to Q1. Second epsilon move is from Q0 to QF. Third epsilon move is from Q2 to QF and fourth epsilon state is from Q2 to Q1. See this clearly. This is how we go in for Thomson's construction of star operation, which we also say as clean closure. Out moves, one in move, four epsilon moves compulsorily. Please remember this is the rule. For every star, there are four epsilon moves. Now we come to how we actually go in for only epsilon move. If I talk about this particular A star move, how this will be performed, it will start with Q0 state and it will move to QF state without consuming any input via this particular path which has been highlighted. If I say that I have to traverse only a single A, I'll start with Q0, I'll move to Q1, from here, I'll consume one A from Q1 to Q2 and then after consuming one epsilon, I am moving to QF state. So that means I have only single A move from Q1 to Q2, but I have reached from start to final state. This is how star operation is being performed for a single A. Now, if I say that I have two A to be traversed, just see how this will happen. First, I will move from Q1 to Q2 on A. I'll move back from Q2 to Q1 on Epsilon. I'll consume second A from Q1 to Q2 and then I'll move out. So I am covering basically 2A. If I say N number of A's, what will happen? I will keep on moving in this loop from Q1 to Q2, back from Q2 to Q1, Q1 to Q2, Q2 to Q1 and any number of A's which I want I can traverse and ultimately I'll move to the final state. Now I talk about second operation which is concatenation. Say for example I have an NFA for A, I have an NFA for B. Now I want to generate an NFA for AB with Thompson's. This is concatenation. No epsilon move is required. I'll just have a start state with Q0, move towards Q1 and then finally to QF. If I talk about OR operation, that is the third operation, I have a NFA for A, I have a NFA for B and I want to find NFA for A plus B or A or B. Please remember these both symbols have same meaning. You can put plus, you can put OR slash. They both represent OR operation. Now I start with Q0. I move towards Q1 consuming only epsilon. I move towards Q3 consuming only epsilon. Now I can move towards A or B and I can traverse either A or B and then I can go to Q2 state or I can go to Q4 state. Please remember whenever we have a OR move there are always compulsorily 4 epsilon moves. This is important as we had in star operation. 4 epsilon moves compulsory for star, 4 epsilon moves compulsory for OR in Thomson's construction. Now we will start with some Thomson's construction examples. First is A, A star. We have a Thomson's for A, a Thomson's for B and we want a Thomson's for A star. As discussed in the previous slide, Thomson's for A star. Then we have concatenation A into A star into B. So what we are doing, we are first coming up with A followed by A star and then we have B in concatenation and we get the final output. 
why only 4 epsilon? Because we have only A star. Concatenation 0 epsilon. And we move to the final state. Now let's take the second example. Here we have A star B, A or B. Just by seeing this expression, we can easily say that it will have 8 epsilon, 4 for A star, 4 for OR. If I talk about A star as discussed in previous slides, my Th Thomson's construction will be this. For single B, it is this. And for A or B, it is this. Now what I am supposed to do, I am just supposed to concatenate all three. So first A star, then in concatenation with B and then in concatenation with A or B. 8 epsilon, 4 for A star, that is this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 for this, 1, 2, 3, 4 and over. Then I have third example, A, B, A or B whole star. For A, B, as given in the previous one, 4 epsilon connecting A or B. A or B star, that means 4 epsilon for A or B, 4 epsilon for star. So in total, I will have 8 epsilon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 epsilon. Now next part is just to go in for concatenation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now just I need to go in for concatenation. A, B, A or B whole star. So this is the final output which I get. 8 epsilon and A and B in concatenation. A, B in concatenation with A or B and this A or B in star. 